Common uses for recirculating system for crab business. Hatchery, nursery, quarantine, fingerling production, purging market-sized product, on growing system, near market size holding system increase the self life of crab. Crab fattening. In recirculating aquaculture system of cultivating crabs, premium crabs can be produced with organic nutritious rich feeds that are supplied in the right proportion to fatten the crabs to attain the required market size. This system also helps in increasing the shelf life of the crabs. It is also used to produce soft shell crabs in some parts of the world. Recirculating aquaculture system design criteria. Recirculating aquaculture system is always based on how much you are feeding and not on how much you are stocking. Recirculating aquaculture system can host up to 1000 to 2000 crabs. A crab can attain 3 to 5% of its body weight by providing them with organic feeds. The quality of water should be maintained appropriately to enrich the production of crabs. Feeding rate is the major component in cultivation. It promotes maximum yield and rich quality of crabs. For 1 kg of feed, we will be providing 0.25 to 1 kg of oxygen to process. It also requires balanced alkalinity to enrich the growth it contains 0.18 to 0.4 kg of alkalinity. As a byproduct we produce 0.35 to 1.4 kg of carbon dioxide. In this most importantly we providing 0.025 to 0.055 kg of NH3 and NH4 in a form of total ammonia nitrogen. Recirculating aquaculture system design criteria for crabs farming has to consider three following points. Remove bacteria, pathogens. Remove solid waste. Convert NH4 to NO2 to NO3. Maintain alkalinity and pH. Most commonly the pathogens in water such as bacteria must be removed and the alkalinity of the water is maintained to enrich the growth. Recirculating aquaculture system has to convert ammonia to NO2 and it has to remove solid wastes from the system effectively. Unit process. Culture tanks are the individual boxes in which the crabs are grown in. Followed by solid removal which is the utilization of media fritters as to remove away the solace wastes from the feed or feces. And the third level will be removal of ammonia by using biofiltration process, followed by disinfection hence crabs can tolerate higher CO2 and low oxygen levels, the water after disinfection will be recirculated back to the culture tanks and recycled.